Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be covering fifth axis work holding. Let's dig in. Okay, so here you can see I've got the fifth axis work holding web page loaded. Now this is just fifth axis all spelled out dot com. No fancy shortcuts or anything else. And you can see they've got products, everything else. They kind of go over a little bit. They break it in between three axis high volume, four and five axis, and self-centering. But the really neat thing I wanted to share with you today was over here in their 3D compatibility tool. So you just hit that downloads 3D compatibility tool and it's gonna load this 3D viewer. Now, it's got nothing there yet. So you go to the drop down menu and you pick your machine. Now. I work at Thomas Skinner and Son. We sell Akumas and we sell Hosses. A lot of my machining experience comes on Hoss. So I'm gonna go with that. So you select your model, then you go here and you select your product. Now you'll notice they either have machines that you can load it on or they have the rotaries. So depending on what you want to equip depends really on what selection you're gonna make from this list. So I'm going to go down and I'm going to select a VF5SS. Now we've got the machine selected. Now we got to pick our rock lock base. Now the RL96A is a 96 mil center to center, which has become an industry standard. You can see here that we've got a nice little table loaded up. Now these are the base plates that the table's already drawn for you, right? Then we can pick what vice we're looking at and it'll kind of populate. Let's go here. These are one of the more popular vice solutions as they're fairly versatile. And when I click on that, I go back up here now and you're going to see the loading. So now it's fully loaded. And you can see that it's populated each position with those vices is you can actually either change it and filter it by your work holding size. So small, medium, large, We've got dovetails, self-centering, double station, so you can really filter it, and that's gonna change what you see down here. So if we do dovetail, it's gonna change my selection for vices. The vice I selected can be used for dovetail, but it's not specialized to that. They've got their 90 degree plates, as well as their dovetail vices. Now, so we select one of their dovetails. Okay. Now it's loaded with the other vices. So you can really play around with this. The really cool thing here is they've got a drop down. You can select from dozens of export formats and then just click download. You're gonna put in your company name, your origin, other things like that. And then you're gonna be able to download that model completely free of charge. That model then you can import into your programming software. Now, whether you're the programmer or the manager or one of the other machinists on the shop floor, this is a super handy tool. This saves so much time. I can't tell you the amount of hours I spent when I was still programming on Mastercam, designing all my tables, the fixturing, everything else, right? When you're trying to make it as flawless as possible, right out of the gate, you wanna make sure everything's drawn in, your vices, your table, and then you can check to see if there's any collision or impact. <laughs> the reality is, and I know I've done it, is if you don't have them programmed in, the chance of hitting a jaw is really, really high. So the fact that they put this in is very exciting to me as a programmer, as a machinist, because this saves so much time. Now, this system is completely expandable. When you set up your table, there's nothing saying that you have to have the same one in each position. When you've got this 3D table, here, you've got all of these positions. Now you might have vices that straddle more than that position. They may be the 96 mil. You can see it bolts right to the table and they have something called MP, the master pallet. Fifth axis is actually the most competitively priced right now in the industry. And they have one of the simplest designs. Their simple design allows it to be easily adaptable, repairable, because accidents happen. They make this very repairable with their simple three-piece cam design. You can see all on one side, all on the other side. That means regardless, you can get an Allen key in there. 
If you had this pallet rotated 180 degrees and you only had one on your table, you could then actuate it from the near side instead of having to reach all the way through the machine and being at the far side. Now a base system like this, you can change the spacing. You could remove some of these on your own machine. A very common one I'm seeing a lot of right now, you'll have one over here on the far side of the table and you would put something like your tailstock. Over here, you could have a plate for the rotary and simply having an adapter plate underneath those components makes it much quicker. You can take up your whole table with your trunnion and then switch over to the next job. You could still have these plates in the middle underneath. So when you pull off that rotary, now you can throw down a vise, you can throw down a fixture, you can throw down whatever you want. They do sell these pins individually. Those pins can be mounted on the bottom of other popular manufacturers as long as they have that same 96 mil spacing, which if you recall earlier, I said it's become an industry standard. That means as long as you put on the fifth axis studs, you are now able to put those other vices directly into this system. So if you haven't invested in the base plates yet, it's not too late to get started with fifth axis. One of the great things about a zero point system is when you are programming, once you have these locations loaded in the machine, they are now known positions. That means your programmer, whether that's you or someone else in the shop, can program based off of those positions. So the master palette I mentioned earlier that you move position to position and you can assign those in your G54 all the way through your work offsets. And then you have all the known positions. So you can either program from that G54 because you know where it is in space, just set your Z for your work height. Or you can pick up the machine coordinates for each position with that master palette and then have those loaded into a table for your programming software. In three axis or four axis, this can be an extremely time-saving investment. For five, fifth axis as well, this can save a lot of time because then you can program off your center line and know your part's exactly where you think it is. There's no more of that set up, oh wait, that doesn't work. You're not gonna have to worry about any collisions or weird mistakes that come when you're setting up off the fly. The amount of time this saves on a changeover, whether you're doing one setup a week or several a day is astronomical. You're down to a couple minutes from hours and hours of work and verifying and proving and everything else that comes with the setup. This now saves you that possibility. Obviously, you can see I'm excited as a machinist because this really calls to everything I've been up to in the industry. This saves so much time, it's kind of crazy. This 3D compatibility tool is one of those reasons. I don't know of a single other manufacturer that makes this possible and available to you as the shop owner, programmer, whatever your role is in manufacturing. And this is just such a time saver. Plus it allows you to visualize and see what's possible by checking out all the different 3D models available. I just wanted to thank you for taking time today to sit with me and watch this video about fifth axis. It's a fantastic tool that I'm really excited to be introducing to more customers. The most common feedback so far has been the customer looking for support calculating the ROI to increase their investment level. That's honestly the only feedback I've really had. It's either it's great working as is, or hey, how can I plan in future ROI to invest more because they see the possibility on the first system and they want to invest across. But when it comes price, cost, and value, this is the biggest balance in the industry. So don't be afraid to check out Fifth Access and ask me any questions you might have. Thanks and have a great day. Don't forget, keep your spindles turning and earning.